wait a minute. Hold it. Nobody said anything about... Two trials. Hi, and welcome back to our Shining Force 3 playthrough. And what a freaking journey it's been the last five videos. We were stuck in Trial 1 in the desert. Ah, oh, you know, let's just talk about it. We... I think if I was playing on my own and not doing these recordings, I'd probably aggress and retry that again. But there's there's something about recording and maybe even like wanting to challenge myself um, to see if I can do it. Because I, I've always found that like the best moments in JRPGs or games in general is sort of the when your back is up against the wall and you manage to pull it out in some crazy zany way. Um, which is what we did last week. Or, yeah, last week pretty much at the time I'm recording this. Um, so the big news, the big thing is that we didn't get into the ruins at all. And I looked up what's in the ruins and I'm not too heartbroken. Um, there's a demon rod, which whatever, I don't like summons. It's probably summons hell dragon does lots of damage. I don't like summons. Um, the one thing that's bugging me is that we missed the and I'm going to pronounce this wrong because I don't even have the word in front of me. The Orichalium. Don't even have the letters in front of you to remember them. Which uh, apparently are like uber mithrils. So I'm a little sad that I missed that. But overall, we ended up gaining a bunch of levels. And we ended up having a fun moment in the end. I wouldn't say we had fun. It was, it was painful. Um, oh, what's your advice? In order to protect Ark Hill, the Mayan people aren't allowed through the Great Wall Gate. In addition to being the site of the Evolution Ceremony, the Holy Ark is located at Ark Hill. So, I don't have a lot of Shining Force, or, or shi not Shining Force, Shining Knowledge, because there's a, there's a game on the Saturn, I think, called Shining in the Holy Ark. I wonder if that's related or not. I will never know, because I'm probably never going to put any time into the related Shining games. So, what have we done since we've last be been here? Well, we made some party changes. And we pretty much took a lot of our characters from the other party, other battle, and took them out of the party. Mostly because they're all level 20, and they've all kind of got a lot of use, and I kind of like to use my other characters a little bit. Aside from Primula. Primula has been put on the bench. He has attack 1, which is a good spell, and I'm judging how spells work, I wouldn't be shocked if she ends up with attack 2, which would be an uber spell, so we might keep her around and give her some experience, just so we can get that. But coming in, we have Harold, we have Pruden, and we have Leon, just to, to give him a taste. You want a taste? So... Also, ended up buying a bunch of healing items, and perhaps more importantly, I ended up buying Donner a Gale Lance, which is good because that casts support 2 on everybody, which would have been a freaking godsend in that last battle. Um, of course, it probably would have snapped in 2 the first time we used it. And perhaps more importantly, we fixed Gracia's Swift Boots. They are no longer broken. Speaking of things that would have been a great big help in that last battle. Those friggin' swift boots. Of course they would have broke right away, but they might have, you know, changed the entire outcome and changed my entire thought process. Because if I go there and I up Gracia's defense, then I'm not freaking out that he's alone in the desert. So we don't rush everybody into the desert and get stuck there and get attacked by all those sandworms. Because that, in essence, was our problem. We ran in there and we couldn't run out. If I was to redo this battle, I'd probably run Gracia off to the side with the ruins, rush my characters along the inside of the tree line, because the inside of the tree line, there is a place where the Cerberi don't spawn somewhere in there. So if I could run Gracia over, run along the tree line, I can probably do that battle 
much easier. In fact, I've watched I've watched some videotape of the battle being done well. Um after I made a mess of it, just to see what's up. So right now, we are in the second trial. And one of the other things I have learned is in these battles, you can give Benetrim advice. And he tells you exactly what you need to do. So in the last battle, he probably says something like, Don't go in the freaking desert, you idiot. Oh, you idiot! So, assemble the four clay dolls around Gracia. To do so, observe their formation, then stand in front of them in order to alter their direction. This seems... Complicated. Okay, this seems easy, but it seems like it's something that's going to get complicated real fast. So, I assume all the clay dolls are going to walk in the direction they're facing. And we also have all these tiles. I'm not sure what they are. Looks like we have a fire tile, lightning tile. I wonder if it's a case of maybe there's wind and ice so the four elements and there's a plus so maybe that's a thing so maybe we want to keep them off those tiles i'm not sure so if we run bridget all the way can i attack these guys okay if i run bridget all the way out here they both should conceivably walk here on the light- oh, great. Now, yeah, that's what we don't want. We don't want them on the spells, I assume. Um... So we might want to stop in a way... So... That you... Only land on the spells. Can we even do that? Because here, we have lightning. We have... Breeze. Right there is a plus, but I don't think you're going to move that way. Oh, I wonder... And you're going to move this way. Ah, I don't know. This... This has the makings of being a disaster. I, is there an order? Do these guys have agility and order into which they move? I can't check their stats. So... You know, if we come here, he's not going to be able to move it all onto that. And it... Is that what we want? Well, here. We'll take a lightning. Let's see if we can... Get you... Get somebody up here. I assume these clay dolls are also slow. Well, let's see if we can get somebody up here to block this lightning. And then conceivably... That's going to hit us with one lightning, and one whatever that is? Ugh, I don't know. We might be spending a bunch of time aggressing in this battle too, we'll see how it goes. Hey, the red dragon- wait, why is the red dragon here? Oh god, okay. I thought I needed Cyclops in my party to get these dragons to join. You don't even need Cyclops in the party. So you didn't move. You moved here. What's this space do? Blaze 3. Okay, Julian? Is this... Gracia? Oh dude, it's literally everybody. Alright, that's uh... That... That's scary. Because that essentially mo means like I make one wrong move, and people die. And I have to sit through these like ridiculously long cutscenes of people getting hit by fire. Probably a bunch of times. It's just that there's four dolls, right? So if they all land on these spots... I'm gonna... All right, you couldn't move. You're gonna move on to the lightning. Oh, Spark to. We are gonna lose people. Okay, so it's not that wrong. 
it's strong enough, like, I can't take this again. Um, I think maybe the worst part about this battle is I'm not gonna get any XP. So if I keep flubbing this and people die, like essentially you could run me out of resources. Harold, Harold's a good spell cast away from being dead. So we have two spells that have been hit. Okay. So we can see you're going to go this way. You're going to go this way. All right. Now I get you over here. All right. That's going to stop you from casting spells. That's going to put you right in front of Gracia. You have spells. You have aura. I don't even know who's going to get healed by this aura best. That's four. We'll do that. Um, so, our priorities are basically unit positioning, so these clay dolls surround Graphia, and also positioning so that we don't get hit by spells. So, Julian, you're going to come right here. That's going to keep him right in place. That's fine. You're coming, so where are you going? And that's a plus. Do we want to stay there? A plus might be good. So everyone, you're going on to a blank one. You're not moving. You're going on to a plus, and you're going... We're going to chill out. Oh, should I do an aura just in case? Let's do a small aura. Just in case. We're going to do a just-in-case aura. Just, just in case things go bad. I mean, it's also XP for the healers. Do the healers need XP? It's tough to say. I, I don't like aggressing and grinding, but like I will manipulate my turn order in battle so that I am grinding. So hold. Let's get you in closer, because you're a low-movement guy. Let's just bring you guys up closer so that if I need to position you in a pinch, you can be positioned in a pinch. Alright, so move there, can't do anything. Move in front of Gracia. Now what are you? You're a plus, so this is either... Okay. This will heal everybody right up. I wish I could... Go faster. Beat it up. Okay, so... If this is all there is to the battle, it's got some danger, but it's not... too, too bad. We just basically have to... keep positioning our units in a way... like here. This way you're not going to cast a spell on anyone. You stay right here. We want you in front of Gracia. You can't do anything, Gracia. So this guy... No, we don't want you to move in that direction. Um, you're blocked, you're blocked. And... You're blocked. And now we just do nothing. Friggin', I, I'm so glad I brought all these extra characters. This is... There's so much for everybody to do. It is... It... Like... What is this? Oh, it's Aura 2 again. The one thing I told not to move was in the right spot. This is something that... This is interesting. And, and there's a lot of... Like, interesting battles in Shining Force 3 that are really showing the growth of the game and the strategy of the game. Like there's 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 the random rescue the refugees battles. They'll stick in my head because they're a friggin' nightmare. But it does seem like there's a lot of battles that are Alright, so 
You're gonna come this way. Do we not want you to step on that lightning? I guess we don't. And we don't want you to move. Alright, you're you're gonna stay where you are. This clay doll is cool where he is. Gracia has no options. Okay, here. I think I want you to land on this ice tablet. Solely so we can get you behind Gracia. Right? Right. And you, you can stay where you are. Right, so can we plan ahead? No, I don't need to plan ahead. There's nothing going on. I mean, I kind of hope that is that is the place where those clay dolls are supposed to be. But it does say around Gracia, right? So it's either got to be diagonally around him. Or, of course, of course, Aura 2 went first. Um, it either has to be diagonally around him. Or, you know, like a T around him. Where he is the T meat. So hopefully it's the T me and we've got one in place. But um From a broadcast standpoint, this is this is this is boring. Alright, so you You're gonna come here and what is this? Is it ice? Okay. This is ice. So, what's some side content I have sitting on the docket of things I can talk about? Because I have a list, you know. Um, so, Shining Force 3 isn't- wow, that was a lot of no, Bruden doesn't have a lot of HP. Shining Force 3 is a game on the Sega Saturn. And I've talked about how I've never played it, not even Scenario 1 on the Sega Saturn. Um, and that's true, because I only owned four Sega Saturn games. Um, alright, so... This guy's coming here. Yeah, screw screw that topic. We'll see if we get back to that. This guy's coming here. So we can stop him. Right. Huh. Come here. We'll get one more in there. You stay here. Yeah, it looks like they don't change the direction after they've moved. Okay, you, I think I'm going to want you to come down here, which is going to open me up to some damage, but also that's okay, so, we have, you're stuck, you're coming down, which is where we want you to do, you're not going anywhere for some reason, and we have this guy coming here, we're, we're exactly where we want to be. Donut recovers 5 HP. I do think we are going to want to drop a heal here. Just to keep some of the main the main players topped up. Because uh, Fire 3 is coming. Or, a, or a, some form of magic is coming. Back to the discussion. Because now we're in the waiting game part. I owned 4 Sega Saturn games. And to say I owned 4 Sega Saturn games is... Disingenuous. I owned two Sega Saturn games because I owned the demo disc that came with the system in Virtual Fighter 2, Virtual Cop, Daytona USA, and World Series Baseball 95. That's right, I only played JRPGs and sports games. Oh great, oh no. Oh no, I'm not paying attention. Getting two spells. And two spells... Two spells will kill me. Two spells will kill me. Well, it won't kill me, but it'll kill Julian. Or it'll kill Gracia. And it might kill Pruden, it might kill some other people, but... Juli yeah, Leon's gonna die. Oh my god. Never try to talk about other content. Harold's gonna die. Dubai might die. That dragon will be fine. He's a menace. 
So we have two clay dolls in place, but we're gonna get hit with a- Alright, what's coming? Freeze three. So I don't care about Julian. That's fine. I care about Gracia. Alright. We're okay. Get some heals out here, but how okay are we? Everyone alive? Bridget- Poor Bridget has terrible luck. My god. Oh, and Leon. Just eating my... They put that three. That's three characters down. Three down. Oh my god, and almost too bad. Everyone has healing items. Everyone is using your freaking healing items. Alright. Honesty, you stay put. I'm getting more worried about the position of the units and not necessarily what they're landing on. This is the everybody heals themselves round. This is the important characters make sure they're healed round. Oh man. And we have two of the dolls in place, so we really should only need to contend with... Four spells? Alright, so... Here. There. No spells from you. And this guy... No spells from you. Oh my god. It's a freaking clown show over here. This is what happens when you don't pay attention. You go, ooh, Masega Cider Games. But, uh... No, I, I do actually have a recording of me playing Daytona USA. It was probably the game that... My father and I played the most. It was one of the few games that my father and I... My father got, like, super into. And my other friend, we would basically have the Khan to see who was the best lap. Uh, Virtual Fighter got played. I've never been much of a fighter guy. You're not blocking. Oh, who's blocking this guy? No one. And World Series Baseball, funny enough, is probably my f Oh, did I just do something dumb? Probably not. Because we only have two that are moved. You're blocked. You're blocked. You're coming to nothing. And you're coming to nothing. We need to get you to come better places. Uh, but the World Series Baseball had this really weird work in it, where you'd start a season and you wouldn't be able to save your progress until you completed three games, which is a, a standard baseball season, uh, or standard baseball series in season. And the game would crash a lot, so I'd get one or two games in, and instead of saving, the game would crash. And this would anger me to no end. So, you're gonna stay here. So because I was a jerk, um, at one point when the game crashed, I put my foot, stomped on the console, like, really hard. We're gonna come here. And this cracked my disc. Um, are we gonna... We're gonna come here. These guys are nowhere near where they need to be and gave me the scare of my life because I thought I had broken my Saturn. Which, to be honest, totally would have deserved being such a petulant child. Alright, let's see. Alright, that's the direction I want you to take. All right, you're both facing this direction. So what I'd like is honesty, you have to stay still. Julian, you're gonna move one, two, three, four, five. I'd like you to move as far as you can. I know there's a heal spot there. And we could use it. Uh, and where do I want this guy to move to? So, do we even want him to move? That's a good question. Do we even want you to move? Because we're gonna want... Yeah, I don't even want you to move. And now we're just gonna stay here and chill. 
I should really heal Dubai. Oh, I can't. Oh well, Dubai. If you die, you die. And Virtual Cop was just like a, a rail shooter. Fun little game, but these all came on like the PlayStation 3. You're coming this way, so you can't move. And you're gonna come this way. So. I'm not even, I'm not taking the time to cast spells. You can stay. You're not going anywhere, so come here and give Jubai some love. Uh, and yeah, those were the Sega Saturn game files. As we try to fill this with something. I think this is going to be our last turn. Unless something comes up and it makes me feel like I've got this. So. Ooh. That's not good. See, I'm just looking at the map here. And I, I'm thinking I could stop him here. Then I'd have to move Pruden to get him to move up. And we don't want to do that. So we're going to try to get him. One, two, three, four, five. We could get him to go to the lightning, but that would hit us all with lightning. And what's the status of my team? Is there anyone who would be in danger if lightning came? No, I think everybody could take a lightning, but we're just going to let that happen. We are just going to let that happen. And does anyone need a heal? I mean, we can go give Dubai a heal. Let's check this red dragon, because, like, red dragon's deaths would be permanent. We'll give Dubai a heal. And I think this is going to be our last turn. I'm going to have to go pick my kid up from school. But I think we're literally just like... Biding our time. For the most part here. As we sort of sit here and... Try to solve the puzzle. That we are currently doing. You're not going to move. You're not going to move. You're going to move all the way across and hit us with lightning. Which, you know, we're okay with. As long as no one else gets hit with lightning. This is where inevitably I find there's a character that I didn't heal. And now they're going to die. can't believe we've lost three people. That's, the, that's nonchalant. Get your game together. So let's make sure we heal that red dragon, because like we said, dragon death is permanent. Oh, this isn't bad, I, so we're going to stop now, but I think our next move is going to be here. To stop him, and just go down here and basically take the time, get things set up, and get on it. Thanks for joining me. See you guys next time when we solve this puzzle.